The preacher said, don't despair. The disease of death is not rare. And you will leave here without losing a hair. Just open your mouth and let in the air. It is even okay if you shed a tear, for that would not be rare. He made me feel very swell by his magical spell. And I stopped dwelling on my fear, for I trusted all would be well. I tell you, beware of such an affair where you say a prayer and it's promised you'll be an heir. And that your soul will be spared. It makes you feel sure that you will endure. But he forgets to tell that you will not yell till you'll be burning in hell. This man may now be preaching, but soon he'll be screeching. Just ask the Apostle Paul, for he will not be able to recall when a church was like a mall, where buildings stood tall and dresses were small, and no one responded to the gospel call. To say all you have to do is utter a sentence is the most shameful scam, and be sure it will have you damned. The sinner's prayer might have a good impression, but is full of demonic possession and only leads to eternal transgression, for it is a false profession. For the Bible's sake, the sinner's prayer is fake. It's time to wake, for on judgment day you'll begin to say, I asked you in my heart, and he will say, Depart. Depart. Every Sunday morning, I would wake up and go to church and participate in the greatest idolatry you could ever imagine. The place might have been called a church, had a pastor, and even called the creator of the universe God, and even read straight out of the Bible. The fact was, I believed in an idol, a false god, and it had me on a path to hell. I believed in a god that allowed me to live in bondage to my sins and still believe that he let me into heaven. I believed in a God that would allow me to backslide and have my faith be shipwrecked. It still believe I'd ever been saved to begin with. I believed in a false God that said all I had to do was at one point in my life say a prayer and ask Jesus in my heart. I believed in a God where I didn't have to renounce everything in my life and follow after Him. I believed in a God that said my emotional feelings were more important than what the Scripture says. I believed in a God that disconnected all biblical threats from reality. A God that had me on a broad way to heaven, not on a narrow one. A God that said to save my life for my sake and not to lose it for His. The idea that all I had to do was say that prayer had me damned, had me living a lie. Eternity is a long time. I pray anyone who is truly saved will stop playing games with the human soul. The true gospel of Jesus Christ is not one to distort. It's a gospel that will clear out the pews from the churches. For people love their sin and don't want to give it up. But if they do not, they will see nothing but hell. For that is why we must tell. Do not play games with salvation. The fact that hell exists and people have an eternal torment there will motivate anyone who is truly born again and regenerate to not pervert the gospel. The gospel is the power of God unto salvation. Salvation is to be saved from what you were, a self-reliant sinner who had multiple pursuits in life. If you're living in the darkness and rely on a prayer you said years ago to save you, then mark it in the book. You're damned. The evidence that you are saved is that you no longer rely on yourself. You no longer live in bondage to sin. That you will seek God to be glorified in your life. You will love Christ more than anything. Because He replaced that heart of stone and He gave you that heart of flesh. And He caused you to walk and obey His statutes. When you seek for God to be glorified, there will be a full-fledged war against all sin that is in your life, for nothing else will matter but Christ. Nothing. Biblical salvation is simple. God saves you, and He becomes your very life. Millions are on the way to hell. You believe they are not because the sinner's prayer. And that's what it is. The prayer a sinner says to deceive himself into believing he is truly regenerate and born again by the supernatural power of God. It is by false power of a preacher who learned his doctrine from a verse taken out of context. Don't be deceived. Examine your lies and test yourself.